Hi Scorpio, it's Elle. I hope everybody is doing well, having a wonderful evening. Most of you are probably out doing things for Halloween. Um, <laughs> you know how it is. I am on my second to last day of chemo and I am exhausted. I laid down for a little while, um, but I um, decided to get back up and do a reading. I had a long day today. Um, I needed a nap and then, you know, I was kind of going back and forth on, on you know, obviously my, I'm in my pajamas, right? <laughs> on, on doing a reading and, and, you know, um, I prayed about it and, you know, whatever comes out, comes out. And what's interesting is I clicked on my computer and I don't even know, like I just opened it up to have it ready because when I do readings, I like to have, you know, I'm an, I'm a number dork, right? <laughs> um, I like to be able to give messages, right? Um, and whatever comes out, comes out. And I like to clarify it, you know, so somebody, if something, you know, um, is going on in your life and it resonates with you, that you have a better understanding with it. So I opened up my computer and um, it was 1616, which I don't even know why that was up. If I was talking about it, I do have chemo brain, but I don't remember that being anything that I was talking about recently. Maybe it was, but, um, it talks about finding emotional balance, right? And I was actually talking with someone about that earlier today, right? You know, it's like when people try to, you know, um, you know, so many of us are going through so many different challenges in life that we don't discuss every day, right? You know, because that is life and who knows what the next person is going through. And, you know, I was discussing a situation that is causing some pain in my own personal life at the moment with a friend. And when I was talking about having to, you know, learn how to, um, you know, take take yourself out of it and, and, and have a bird's eye view, right? And not let yourself manifest with emotions, not let the emotions take over, especially if you're Scorpio, right? You know? Um, and so finding emotional balance, let's see, 1616. Um, hold on. It's strange. All right, well, the message that was up just kind of disappeared. So there's definitely some interference with messages lately too for me that's a um, couple things have happened recently when I've like gotten messages, like oh, all of a sudden I've gotten like some random phone call or some random like thing trying to interfere, but it's not happening, right? But there is some energy that's trying to make it happen anyway. Angel number 1616 is a signal that new opportunities are heading your direction and make sure that we are ready to seize them, to do what we need to do in order to, in order to get our house in order. When we have balance and security within our finances and relationships, we have the confidence to be able to take risks which can result in great rewards. So that's not what the first one was saying, but let me see if I can, here we go, move it back. The spiritual meaning of 1616 is related to finding emotional balance, moving beyond your ego, working on your personal development, boosting your willpower and determination, experiencing growth and expansion in your life. Your angels are encouraging you to acknowledge both sides of life, express your highest potential, learn from the tough times, um, lean on your inner strength and intuition and, and embrace and help you receive, wait a minute, I'm sorry, express, I hate trying to read out loud and you, you guys, my energy level is super low today. 
Um, express your highest potential and learn from tough times. Lean on your inner strength and intuition and embrace the help you receive. Angel number 1616 is a sign that you are on the right track and that you have everything that you need to be successful to reach a higher spiritual level. It also indicates that spiritual blessings and positive energies are upon you to help you align with your true self, right? So at this time too, it's kind of like, to me, like creating, finding this emotional balance is going to help you even like, you know, see, you know, your soul tribe, who's supposed to be in your life, who's supposed to not be in your life, whatever's going on, Scorpio, we'll get into it. But apparently that message popped up for a reason because that wasn't even why, but you know, I'm trying to be, you know, um, you know, instead of just sitting in the bed, you know, or laying in the bed thinking, well, I'll get up in the morning and do the reading. You know, this time I was like, you know, I'm not, yes, I'm going to get up and do a reading in the morning, but I'm going to do one now. Um, so let's see what's going on with my Scorpio tribe. You guys know what I've got going on. Um, if you would like to donate, I do have a GoFundMe link set up in the description box below. I've been going through chemotherapy, uh, and all that jazz since May. So that's just there for anybody that would like to donate. All right, spirit angels, ancestors, guides, please help me provide Scorpio with any messages you would like for them to receive. Also protect us with your white light of protection through the tarot. Archangel Michael, please block any negative energy being sent our way. Send it back into the universe, into nothingness. Protect us from any evil energy, any evil intent ill will, words spoken, you know, anything that's just, that's a form of magic, right? You got to be careful. You know, even as a reader, I understand that. And, and I, and I have to try, you know, it's like check myself too, right? You know, um, be careful with the words that we speak. Um, let's go ahead and get into it. Spirit, angels, ancestors, guides, please help me provide Scorpio, sun, moon, rising with any messages that you would like for them to receive. Also protect us with your white light of protection through the tarot. Archangel Michael, please block any negative energy. I'm getting prayed up. I feel your presence around me. Thank you for being here. What messages do we have for the collective? Feel loved and proud, Scorpio. You know, you could have some energies right now. Again, this is that emotional balance, creating that emotional balance. Somebody trying to rock your balance. What is it? Full moon energy again, right? So it's again like whatever positive uh, manifestations that you're bringing into your life. You may have, you know, fuck energy, excuse my language, that wants to rock your balance, right? But feel loved and feel proud for what you've accomplished feel loved by the divine. I was woken up this morning at 3.33 um, and that was a sign of love and protection to me, you know. Um, so it's spirit saying feel loved and feel proud of how far you've come in your journey. Feel proud of what you've accomplished, what you're trying to accomplish and continuing to accomplish, okay? Um, what other messages do we have? I like this deck and I haven't used it. all the artwork is really beautiful. Um, what other messages do we have for Scorpio in regards to this reading? There's a solution for every problem. See how our feet aren't being tied down anymore here so there's a situation here Scorpio that's been going on in your life where if you feel like there's no solution you know you have to um and I learned this a long time ago you know it's like you gotta you gotta skip on to another timeline and and understand like I can take myself off this timeline right there is a solution there's always a solution um and so there's a solution for every problem and don't forget that whatever this is okay if you're going through some type of struggle right now 
it does look like somebody was trying to, like, cause the picture, wow. There's definitely some weird blockage, is it? Block, blocking energy that you've been dealing with. I feel like you've been, it's, you've been defeating it. Um, but you can't be tied down. Somebody's tried to tie you down. Look, my water bottle over there keeps, I haven't even had a sip out of that bottle in a while and it keeps, ancestors are here making a noise. I already told you, I said, thank you, Archangel Michael, for showing up. I felt you. I feel your presence. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your protection. What other messages do we have for Scorpio? Cultivate love. So whatever it is that you're doing right now, Spirit just wants you to remember that it's important to still be in this energy, that Christ-like energy of cultivating love, that ever-essence energy, right? So it's, 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 there's a solution to every problem. Feel loved and proud of what you've overcome. And remember, just always cultivate love, to stay in this positive, loving energy. Um... Embrace oneness with the universe. I like that. All right, what other messages do we have with the oracle for Scorpio? I split the deck right open to love, right? Love is the biggest answer here and a situation, a solution, action we need to take here and a solution or a situation. What other messages do we have for Scorpio? mercy. I am kind and thoughtful towards myself and others. So just a reminder, you know, sometimes we want to release the, the stinger or, you know, you're having a bad day, you know, but look, here's, there's self-respect too. There's a boundary here. There's also the energy of needing to, again, I honor and love myself through healthful actions, through self-respect, through demanding respect or self or respect from other people who disrespect you um but this says i'm kind and thoughtful towards myself and others as well so there has to be mercy here too it's like a double-edged sword right you have to remember that whoever needs to hear this um if you feel like you know maybe in some way shape or form um you've been disrespected right you know um we're going back to that love, cultivating love, that Christ-like energy. You never know what somebody else might be going through. Um, enthusiasm. Whatever I'm the most passionate about at this time is the direction that I follow. There's a mother and a child here. I do feel like there's an energy here, especially like um, involving a mother. Like again, like mother-child situation here or just a situation, whatever it is that you're most passionate about, you're being guided by the divine to continue on your path here that is cultivating love. And it could be just in society in general, raising the vibration, Scorpio, um, that we definitely need to be doing right now. And I always like to say, it's like, you know, my Scorpios are like the eagles, right? The closest to the divine. And I hope no other sign that's watching gets offended. It's just um, a little saying I have because there have been, you know, and some Scorpio like pictures with the Scorpio, there's sometimes the eagle appears, right? And, you know, Scorpios can be super intuitive. Um, we are the type of people that want to, it's like, we almost want to touch God, right? It's like we want to feel God or experience God or in this lifetime, or at least that's how my experience has been. And with most Scorpios, we're intense like that, right? And there's this, this intense need for, um, you know, even, um, um, I was talking with a young woman who was a Scorpio yesterday and like she didn't know anything about any of the stuff that I talk about. 
Um, and I apologize. I, I'm sure you can feel how tired I feel right now, but I felt the need to get this message out. Um, she was talking about um, breaking generational curses, right? You know, Scorpios were here to bring some change. All right, here we go. You have a special bond with animals. You're, I mean, I know I do, right? I am like the Dr. Doolittle. We thought we've made that joke before, right? Like they, they always come to me. I always get, and it used to just only be birds, but now it's like, it's going, it's like animals, like any kind of animal, right? Uh, I shared my experience with the deer the other night too, but it says you have a special bond with animals. Your pets on earth and heaven are watched over by the angels. But again, this is an energy of, you know, a spirit could be trying to reach you through also. Again, you could be getting a cat, right? <laughs> uh, nothing wrong with that. Um, but there's an energy of having, I feel like you could be receiving messages. That's more of the message that I'm getting here with this thing, this thing, this message is, you know, receiving messages through nature, connecting in nature, connecting with the universe, stepping outside into the world. And you know what I mean? When you're connected on that level, you know, you will be, and it's, it's almost magical. It's beautiful. And it's like, you know, sometimes I try to talk about it with other people and they look at me like I'm a nut job, right? But the people that get it, you know, get how beautiful it, it truly is. Um, you know, um, when you're in that zone, when you're that connected to spirit, um, what other messages do we have for Scorpio in regards to this reading? Celeste, a happy move to a new home or place of employment is in the works. This movement will usher in positive new energy. You know, it's interesting. This is an angel deck, right? So this would be Celeste, an angel. And somebody asked me recently or said something, you know, I think it's in the town that I live in. I was discussing something with a good friend of mine who is also a reader, but she said something about the name Celeste. And it's funny that this is coming out now. So a happy, because I was like, I don't know any Celeste. <laughs> A happy move to a new home or place of employment is in the works. The movement will usher in positive new energy. So whatever this is, Scorpio, you know, it's a message, right? We're all connected. I'm not saying it was just a message for me. So don't, you know, I don't come for me in the comments. I don't even have the energy for that right now. You know, um, this is, you know... I feel like there's positive change here. Um, that's going to be taking place for you, Scorpio. What other messages do we have? Let's do one more. Carissa, you are at the end of a cycle in your life. Call upon your angels to comfort you and guide you through your next step happiness awaits you. Yeah, so some of you are ending a painful cycle or ending a cycle or there's a cycle ending that's been extremely painful and hard, right? So this is spirit saying, you know, this is the end of it though. You know what I mean? Whether there still might be some healing maybe that you need to go through because of it. Yes, that's okay. But this is the end of a painful cycle in your life and leave it at that. Okay, there is an ending here. Maybe some of you are scared that this cycle wasn't going to end. What other messages do we have for Scorpio?
other messages do we have for Scorpio Spirit? Tuned in, connected, exactly. This is it. Some of you are really, are reaching this point where it's like you're you're seeing that you're actually like the work that you've been putting in, that you're tuned in and you're connected, right? I love it. I love it, especially with the, the messages that we're getting. No strings attached here situation. We'll see why that's coming out in a minute. And maybe Spirit is telling you to stay away. You're too tuned in and connected. Stay away from low vibrational situations like this because this is exactly what it is. You know, this type of situation is somebody who's spreading it all around, right? So no strings attached it's like you're too tuned and connected right now i'm getting hot um you're too tuned and getting connected um scorpio somebody's might even be mad the way that i just got hot sorry and had to take off my robe it was like somebody could be mad if you actually had been engaging in a situation where there are no strings attached and you're ascending or there's a situation where you're ascending and and just no longer interested in situations with no str no strings attached um let's clarify we've got a queen of wands energy when i split the deck Uh, I saw the Six of Swords and Scorpio moving to calmer waters. All right, so we've got the tower here showing up. There was a situation here possibly with a no strings attached situation that did cause a tower in your life, right? So, you know, feel love, feel proud of where you've come from since this tower, whatever this was. Yeah, because this is somebody, um, sorry. You're someone that um, has been through a lot. I'm gonna have to charge my phone, so I'm not gonna be able to do all, do a long reading. Um, and it has to do with sexual situations or a sexual situation here with, the, excuse me, with the Ace of Wands. So that's why we had the strings attached no strings attached come out. It's time to protect your energy because there's new cycles. You're too tuned in and connected now. Do you hear that? It's almost like get away from it fast. Nine of cups. So I, I had this discussion too. It's like once you learn to love yourself and when you're not looking for love is when it comes, right? Um, so the nine of cups is all about being okay and content with yourself. This is also that 1616 message, that emotional balance. You've got a new cycle here and look, here's underneath that. What is that negativity, right? So it's like a new cycle. It's you're too tuned in and connected now to allow negative energy in, or continue to allow negative energy to affect your life right scorpio you figured out you have options or you understand that you do have options and ways here to change cycles right you're not stuck what other messages do we have for scorpio the sun card this is a happy outcome this is the trump of the deck right this is long-term happiness and success so again confirmation there's an, a cycle ending a cycle ending like this has come out twice over top of this card that says you are at the end of a cycle in your life look here's the wheel of fortune you can't make it up right so that you're at the end of this cycle there is a new cycle you've paid your karmic debt you've been through enough baby here's the sun right here you're allowed to be happy right and nobody can take this from you remember that 
Maybe they can take everything else from you, but they can't take your happiness, right? Ultimately, right? You know? One more card, yeah. There's been, there's definitely been some pain here connected to, I could feel it. I felt the heavy energy and I felt like that's why I needed to do the reading. There's been a painful betrayal, a painful situation. Do we need, that's had you kind of feeling a little out of whack because we've got Scorpio in reverse. It was like, almost like, Here's that emotional balance here that we need for this transformation because then we've got the chariot right underneath that, right? Moving forward, being able to move forward, being allowed to move forward. Why do we have this betrayal? What is this Ten of Swords? Somebody was really nasty. We've got a King of Swords in reverse, all right? Somebody... Um, who plays dirty here in a situation. What else can you tell us here? Stalking energy, wow. The devil and something being put to rest here. So again, with the devil and the four of swords, you know, whatever this is, is no more and is ending. Some of you uh, are stepping into a connection if you're single or it's just the negative energy being removed from your life is allowing um, either a connection to come in where there's equal love, equal give and take here. Um, there could have been somebody trying to block a lot of this here and that's coming to an end for you. Okay, with the lover's card coming out, you could be dealing with the Gemini, maybe not, but that's Gemini energy. Then we've got the moon card, Cancer. Um, what's underneath this? Something coming out about a high priestess here. Something wasn't successful. It could have been. Which queen is this? In regards to a queen of swords, what's interesting is the queen of swords is in reverse too. So you've got a feminine and masculine energy that are really bad, right? So something coming out here about truth here, about, because the world is in reverse, about why something wasn't successful or why there was something going on here in a situation. I feel like you already kind of intuitively knew it here. Um, you have really had to exude a lot of strength here for this transformation, but here it is, Scorpio. Uh, some of you could be receiving a love offer here from someone here because we do have the, the, the Knight of Cups. But tell me more about this transformation for Scorpio with the Strength card. I think you just reached a point here. It is tuned and connected. You're so tuned and connected with spirit now that that's the transformation, that there's no going back. It's like once you've seen something, you can't unsee it. There's no going back to this lifestyle. There's no going back to this, you know, um, and it's like maybe when you take a step back or when you've taken a step back, you've seen the repercussions or you've seen like, especially if you're a healer, reader, whatever, right? You know, uh, the karma hits faster, right? Some type of indecisive energy here. What is this? What is, why do we have this showing up spirit? Prayers are going to be answered though. Here's the star card energy. Why do we have, let's get the angel tear, the two of swords showing up. It was like you were blind to something at a crossroads and a transformation. Do I go this way? Do I go that way? You're too tuned in to turn back to, the, to go the other way is, is what it is. Yeah, the Hierophant. Some of you are definitely spiritual teachers. Um, if you've asked the divine for forgiveness, this is divine forgiveness. This is prayers being answered. I 
and then the king of swords victory upright right so um this grants victory and protection from lightning so again like um I would say like that's a tax, just, a, just you know, protection, protection. Um, the King of Swords wins because he's very strategic, right? So when I was talking about being tuned in, connected, bird's eye view, being emotionally balanced, all these things, that's why that's important, Scorpio. Spirit is trying to give answers to like to you, to those in doubt. Maybe you're showing people, like to those that doubt in spirituality, God, whatever, the most high, whatever it is that you believe in. It's like gives answers to those in doubt, you know. You're no longer in doubt here. You're too tuned in and connected now. There's like you've seen what you can't you can't unsee it, right? Um, maybe you asked for this and you've received it or you will be receiving this. What other messages do we have for Scorpio? The high priestess. Yeah. Um, there's protection here because of who you are as well and what you're supposed to do here on this earth. It doesn't necessarily have to be you're a tarot card reader when the high priestess comes out. You know, um, you're a Scorpio, you're ha you're extremely intuitive. Happy birthday, by the way, to my Scorpios. Um, but this is the energy of using this knowledge to succeed in life, right? This, this knowledge from within that is given to you from the divine, right? You're too tuned in, connected now to ignore it. And that's why prayers are being answered. Here's the Hermit, which is also a very spiritual card going within. That's the alchemy and the transformation. This helps with spiritual progress. So again, that resonates with the 1616 message that just popped up when I opened my computer. It's like there is spiritual elevation, spiritual progress. You're moving in the right direction. So even if it feels a little scary, you know, um, some of you, it's like you're waking up. You're just waking up to like seeing things in a whole different way. Um, but it's a beautiful thing. I feel like, yeah, here's the sun. Some of you, there's literally like restoration of life with this energy. Here's the sun again, right? So again, it's like things that have been um, either that you've lost or that have been taken from you or whatever. It's like there's there's been restoration of life here. I love it. And protection from, it says protection from adversaries, rabies, or wild beasts, but that, that's that savage energy, right? There's restoration of life from some savagery, right? Um, healing capacity with the four of cups so there's definitely been a lot of healing here for you Scorpio or will be the ace of cups wow and for some of you this is saying obtains the mercy of God remember we're talking about having mercy mercy of God and gives long life gives long life with the ace of cups you know the ace of cups represents love which is the highest vibration that there is and if you stay in this vibration if you stay tuned in if you stay connected if you stay in this vibration scorpio it's like it's like spirit saying you will have long life right you know um Four of Swords is different in this deck. It talks about a mission. And I feel like whoever I'm talking to here, you do have an important mission in this life, in this lifetime. Um, and that's why this is all so important and for you to understand. The Knight of Pentacles can even be a prophet. 
okay? Um, you have the light of understanding and I was getting ready to put this card over the moon. So it's almost like, again, the moon can be premonitions. It doesn't even have to be, oh, you know, secrets coming out because somebody opened their mouth, right? Um, the gift of sight. For some of you with the page of pentacles, I just split the deck in the middle, some of your financial stability was attacked because you do have the gift of sight, because of your knowledge, because you're a prophet. With the Nine of Swords, somebody wanted to cause you anxiety, stress, but again, there's protection from this, from the divine, all right? So I love you guys. I hope this message was helpful. I was led to put it out for whatever reason. Until next time, lots of love and light. Bye.